all news, all the time. This is 1010 Wins. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Good morning. 64 degrees at 8 o'clock. It's Tuesday, September 11th. I'm Lee Harris. Here's what's happening. It's primary day and the polls are open in New York City. Voters are deciding. Good morning, America. I'm Charles Gibson. I'm Diane Sawyer and it's Tuesday, September 11th, 2001. It is lunchtime in London, 5 a.m. in Los Angeles and 8 a.m. here in New York, live from the CNN Financial News headquarters. It is beautiful outside. Perfect September day with lots of sunshine. Oh, would you look at Washington, huh? I'm going outside today. Other than that, it's kind of quiet around the country. We like quiet. It's quiet. It's too quiet. Seven fifty-nine a.m. American Airlines Flight Eleven, a Boeing seven sixty-seven with ninety-two people on board, takes off from Boston's Logan International Airport, en route to Los Angeles. 8.14 a.m., United Airlines Flight 175, a Boeing 767 with 65 people aboard, takes off from Boston, also headed to Los Angeles. 8.20 a.m., American Airlines Flight 77 takes off from Dulles International Airport outside of Washington, D.C. The Boeing 757 is headed to Los Angeles with 64 people aboard. 8.41 a.m., United Airlines Flight 93, a Boeing 757 with 44 people on board takes off from Newark International Airport en route to San Francisco. 8-Qaeda terrorists aboard three hijacked passenger planes carried out coordinated suicide attacks against the World Trade Center in New York City and the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., killing everyone on board the planes and nearly 3,000 people on the ground. A fourth plane crashed into a Pennsylvania field, killing all on board after the brave passengers and crew attempted to regain control from the hijackers. Pilot, everyone's been stabbed. They're in the back of the airplane. They're not. Oh, the hijackers are in the cockpit. Oh, no. Okay, we just lost the connection. 8.46 a.m. Hijackers aboard American Airlines Flight 11 crashed the plane into the 93rd to 99th floor of the North Tower of the World Trade Center, killing everyone on board and hundreds inside the building. begun immediate evacuation of the North Tower. <coughs> After initially instructing tenants of the World Trade Center South Tower to remain in the building, Port Authority officials broadcast orders to evacuate both towers via the public address system. An estimated 14,000 people are already in the process of evacuating. Remember, it is shortly before 9 o'clock East Coast time, so we suspect there would have been a great many people in the building and presumably on those top floors as well. So the major concern is human oh loss. I Oh, another one just hit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 9.03 a.m. Hijackers crash United Airlines Flight 175 into floors 75 through 85 of the World Trade Center South Tower, killing everyone on board and hundreds inside the building. And now you, you have to move from talk about a possible accident to talk about something deliberate. This has to be deliberate, folks. Why do you say that was definitely on purpose? <laughs> because... It just, it just flew straight into it.
goodness. Oh, this is terrifying. Awful. That is a very hard thing to watch. To watch Powerless is a horror. 9.21 a.m. Port Authority closes all bridges and tunnels in the New York City area. At this time, all elevators are out in both towers, according to the rescue workers on the scene. And people will have a long, horrendous, terrifying walk down in a darkened building. 9.31 a.m. Speaking from Florida, President Bush calls the events in New York City a terrorist, terrorist, terrorist attack, attack on our country. Haiti, I don't want to alarm anybody right now, but apparently there was an explosion of some kind here at the Pentagon. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There is smoke pouring out of the Pentagon. 9.37 a.m. Hijackers aboard American Airlines Flight 77 crashed a plane into the western facade of the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., killing 59 aboard the plane and 125 military and civilian personnel inside the building. We are also getting reports now that there is a fire on the mall in Washington. There is a plane circling the White House at the moment. Now anything is possible. For the first time in history, the FAA grounds all flights over or bound for the continental United States. Some 3,000 commercial flights and 1,200 private planes are guided to airports in Canada and the United States over the next two and a half hours. 9.59 a.m., the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapses. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! We're not sure exactly what happened, but it was another explosion on the far side of one of the buildings from where we're standing. It looks almost like a mushroom cloud. What is behind it, I, I cannot tell you. The whole side has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. The whole building has collapsed. The building has collapsed. The building has collapsed. It My pulled God. it down on itself. Ten oh seven AM. After passengers and crew members aboard the hijacked flight ninety three contact friends and family and learn about the attacks in New York and Washington, they mount an attempt to retake the plane. In response, hijackers deliberately crash the plane into a field in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, killing all 40 passengers and crew aboard. We have a report that a 747 uh, is down in Pennsylvania. I'm going to interrupt you, Senator McCain. These are the first pictures we have in. Uh, this is from Somerset County. Pennsylvania. This is United Airlines 93. This was a Boeing 757 bound from Newark, New Jersey to San Francisco. It crashed in Somerset County, Pennsylvania near the town of Shanksville. 10.28 a.m. The World Trade Center's North Tower collapses 102 minutes after being struck by Flight 11. And there's, you can see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, the top portion of which is collapsing. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. They seem to have the north problem at the north tower. Oh my God. Good Lord. There are no words. America, offer a prayer. One has to assume that thousands of lives have been extinguished. May uh, God help those who are there and the victims and their families uh, and all the souls that are lost today. 11 a.m. Mayor Rudolph Giuliani calls for the evacuation of Lower Manhattan south of Canal Street, including more than one million residents, workers and tourists, as efforts continue to throughout the afternoon to search for survivors at the World Trade Center site, dubbed Ground Zero. At 5.20 p.m., the 47-story 7 World Trade Center collapses after burning for hours, 
The building had been evacuated in the morning and there are no casualties, though the collapse forces rescue workers to flee for their lives. At 8.30 p.m., President Bush addresses the nation, calling the attack evil, evil, despicable, despicable acts, of terror, acts of terror, declaring that America, its friends and allies, would stand together to win the war against terrorism. We will never forget 